Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Aries. Now you can have Aries anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, anywhere. And Aries, this message may resonate with you. Or maybe just a piece. Take what does and send the rest to the universe. Look at this. This flew out as I was speaking right now. You have holy amethyst, divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. And look at this purple, baby. Some of you guys look amazing in purple. They're saying that you need to wear purple. Y'all need to work on your crown chakra. But a lot of you guys, spirit, I'm hearing, stop giving up. They want you to stay focused on your purpose. They want you to stay open to communication because some of you guys are having this blockage of turning your, of turning the negativity into positivity. Some of you guys are having this blockage and they want you to stop giving a fuck about what people are gossiping about you. Because I'm hearing the people that you're dealing with or had been dealing with in the past, depending on what timeline you are in, they were gossiping about you out of their own insecurities. I'm hearing they were projecting. But spirit wants you to understand. They want you to turn that gossip, that negativity that keeps sending to you into positivity. So some of you guys are standing in this energy. Put in the comments if this is you, baby. You an amethyst, amethyst, alchemist, I'm hearing. But see, this is what they're pissed off about. Your enemies, I'm hearing, is that you got dharma unfolding. Remember that you are a, on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. So I'm hearing a lot of you guys right now are vibrating high where you're turning all that negativity to positivity. Look at this. And you're letting go of all that no longer resonates. Why do I say that? Because look at this. You have Lord Shiva transcends. Rise up, honor your inner voice. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. And I couldn't say this word. So some of you guys have an ancestor that just loves to play with snakes or did. Or somebody close to you. But Jesus is right behind. And as you transcend and you rise up about, uh, above all these obstacles that your enemy or enemies, some of you guys' family that, that have placed behind you, some of you guys, they're just seeing you in disbelief on how you're just dancing with the universe. And what do I mean by dancing with the universe is that you are unbothered as fuck. You just, they see you, they're like, damn, Aries isn't bothered. Why? Because you're operating out of love. Look at this. You're operating, and I'm hearing love overcomes evil and forgiveness. And you've learned how to forgive. And for a lot of you guys, I know you're going to say it in the comments, man, I forgive them, but I don't forget. And that's what Jesus wants you to know. Yes, forgive them. But don't be a sucker for them to do it again. Forgive them, let them go. Bye. Adios, chingues, madre, and I nos vemos. Bye. But forgive them. And let them go. It says, you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father, healing is possible at this time. So that's what I'm hearing. Aries. I'm hearing. For some of you guys, we're going to open up this new deck. We're going to start with you. Because Aries, I'm feeling you guys have this newness to you. You have been hiding. I haven't been able to do your, your reading. This is like brand new. But there's something new about you, and people are noticing that big time. Because a lot of you guys, I'm hearing, you you just trusted in God, the universe. And Felicians 3.13 is going to resonate for a lot of you guys. And I'm hearing, you can do all things through him who gives you strength. And yes, for, for a lot of you guys, I'm challenging. Some of your ancestors are screaming out 
They act tough is what I'm hearing. They act tough, but they're scared to face you. Alone, I'm hearing. They have to be in the crowd. And for a lot of you guys, you already know their energy is a coward energy. So you let them go. And I'm hearing narcissistic. So maybe you was dealing with somebody with the narcissistic um, tendencies or just energy. For some of you guys, we're dealing with the Jezebel, which you guys are learning about this Jezebel energy. But be assured, they will pay a harsh price for hurting you is what I'm hearing. Look at this. The star. As I cut the deck, look at this. Aries, you might be dealing with a, an Aquarius. But look at this. You have the hands right here. Look, some hands. And this is you. It's like the universe are, is holding you up. And look, look at you. You feel in God's presence. After all this turmoil and all that you've been through, look at this, the night of wands. Everything that you've been through, even been harsh, I'm hearing harsh. Some of you guys have been dealing with harsh situations, but now you're feeling the love of the universe. This is you shining. And and what I'm hearing, Aries, is that God, the universe, wants you to put yourself on a pedestal. This is the energy the universe wants you in. Because for a lot of you guys, you guys were putting somebody else on a pedestal. And butterflies are going to be you as a transformation. You're putting yourself on a pedestal, baby. And I'm hearing after God, of course. So it's like you're putting God then yourself, and then yourself again, and then again yourself, as you should. Some of you guys need to focus, I'm hearing, on your sacral chakra. They want you to listen to chakra, sacral music or meditation. And for a lot of you guys, Aries, put in the comments. Some of you guys have a competitive partner or lover <laughs> and I'm here they think they're winning but at the end of the day Aries they about to miss the hell out of you they're going to find out that they need you more than what you need them the four of swords look this is new to me these cards look at this This is you at peace. But this I'm hearing is going to be the person that betrayed you. They're having nightmares and your ancestors are going to be bugging the shit out of them. And this usually is a card of healing. But I'm hearing they're going to miss you more and they will need you more than ever. On the bottom of the deck, look at this. Here they are. Look at them all sad. Stubborn. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Taurus or somebody with Taurus in their chart is what I'm hearing. But look at this. There's a cup right there. But oh no, they don't want to apologize. I'm hearing narcissistic. And this person, you might have had a lot of love. Major love. And they're in this four of pinnacles. Trying to hold on to their narcissistic ways is what I'm hearing. Trying to keep your money away from you. For some of you guys, this particular person took money from you. And they want me to go back to these three cards. For a lot of you guys that are healing and love, there's love that wants to come your way. You're about to see this person in your dreams. I'm hearing the universe is, God, the universe is going to reveal. Because some of you guys have been praying on new love. Put in the comments, I'm open to receive new love. And I'm hearing the good, good love. That gushy, gushy, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing someone that can rub your back real good and your feet. I don't know who needed to hear that. But this is what the universe has for you. Look at this heart-to-heart -heart connection. Look at this. It could be someone with Leo in their chart. Or I'm hearing some somebody... A Leo energy that's going to introduce you to these two people or to 
some of you guys have two options. But this is going to be your yin and yang. Yes, indeed. For a lot of you guys, they're going to find out your ex, the past person. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. This person was a sheep. Uh, what is it called? A, a wolf in sheep clothing or something like that. This particular always wanted to fight with you, but you had the strength to to overcome this particular person. And this particular person is going to find out that you was the blessing. Put in the comments, baby. I am the blessing. I am blessed. And I am the blessed one. And they're going to find out the hard way. And yes, they love you. And yes, they miss you. But I'm hearing they still playing games. And at the bottom of the deck, look, you're becoming the magician, baby. And as I say that, 11-11 on the clock, baby, you in this energy of the magician. Co-creating with the universe. Look at this. And your focus. And for the ones that are playing games, that you know they're still playing games... Look at this, the Ace of Cups. You learn to let go and trust in God and the universe to bring you this love that's coming. And some of you guys, you have so much self-love that here's your partner looking like, why isn't Aries, Aries chasing me? Some of you guys, they wanted you to chase, but look, you you on your own pedestal, baby. 12-12 on the clock. By you, I'm here by you not chasing them because they expected you to chase. Look, they're all angry, wanting to pick a fight with you. But are you not chasing? This cabron, this cabrona is pissed. It's freaking bothering this particular person. This card fell out right here. It says the Seven of Swords. They see you moving on. Look at you over here. Mm -hmm. And they're pissed. Why isn't Aries chasing me? <sighs> tough shit. I'm hearing you moving on, baby. Put in the comments. Tough shit. I'm moving on. And Aries. Aries. I don't know who this is going to resonate with. But you always find a way to win. If you was dealing with the legal situation or this particular person taking advantage of you, they're shocked. They're shocked because you always find a way. It's always like you're finding a way to win and they can't outpart you. It's because you trust in God and the universe that he will always provide. And look, as I said, that the nine of cups. Aries, you always find a way to win. It's not luck, baby. It's called be having favor over your life, baby. I am favored by God. The universe is what I'm hearing. Put it in the comments. I'm hearing God. The universe wants you to stay focused on him and keep. For a lot of you guys, he's going to he's asking me to pray for your enemies. Because some of you guys put in the comments, some of you guys are praying for the people that betrayed you. And I'm hearing you know by doing that, your blessings are unfolding. Look at this. As I said that, that little steps that you're taking to pray for your enemies as a page, some, some of you guys have people that are They see you as this page energy. How could you pray for your enemies? God, the universe don't want you to listen to that. Keep praying for your enemies. Why? Because you're closing out cycles. And it's bringing you, look, protection from the universe. And it's bringing you blessings. And these particular persons that are pages, they don't understand. 
How is it that you keep, keep winning? Why? Because you trust in God. And that's why he continues to bless you. And your enemies hate, they hate it, how you have this connection with the universe. They could do it too, but they decided not to do it. I'm here. And Aries, I keep hearing, stop giving a fuck of what they think. They were cowards. They couldn't face you eye to eye. Tough shit, move on is what I keep hearing. They want you to stay in this energy. And they want you to let go of the burdens that no longer resonate with you. Look at you trying to hold on. Let go. God has got you, baby. Look at you hanging on the last burden. They, 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 they ain't made for, <laughs> it's not meant for you. Let go, baby. Stand in this energy, baby. So let's see what, let's see what they have for you with these cards right here, the self-care cards. Aries, hit the like button, share, subscribe, baby. Help my channel grow. Comment if this is you. Oh, damn. I saw somebody. Let's see. You was their blessing. Aries, you were their blessing. Look at this. And this is the truth. You was the blessing. These cards don't lie. Look at this. It says, truth is different at different levels of consciousness, reserve, judgment. Wow. Look at this hand right here, the protection that you got over your life. That's why you keep winning. I'm here and you always find a way. That your enemies are sitting there like, how is it that Aries finds a way to win? Look at this card don't belong in there. Look, Mother Mary. Some of you guys have this Mother Mother Mary protection, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace, mother healing as possible at this time. You guys have Jesus and Mother Mary that came out. So some of you guys have major protection. Major protection. And put in the comments if this is you, baby. And I'm hearing again, Philip, Phyllis. Felicians 4, 13, and 4 and 13 equals 8. Infinite protection is what I'm hearing. Whew. Infinite protection. All right, let's get it to you right now. Hey, let's hit the like button. Share, subscribe, baby. Mm, let's see what they want to say. All right, right here, let's say Needs. Look at this. I feel like you need to take a break. Some of you guys have been going hardcore when it comes to career. It says, do you need more time to yourself? Take a break from thinking too much. A kind, a kind encounter with a friend. Your needs matter. And it's time to honor them. So I'm hearing again. Stop giving. Put in the comments. I'm going to stop giving up. Look at this card. Passion. And I'm here when it comes to love. For the ones that are open for love, open to receive love, we have passion coming. I mean, passion coming towards you. It says, light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. And what is that going to take, Aries? It's going to take you taking action. For some of you guys, you have a particular person that is meant to be in your life. This particular person... Maybe you've reached out to them. I'm, oh, man, this energy, I mean, switched quick. When y'all, I'm channeling somebody's answers, but you've already taken the action for a particular person that you're waiting on. This particular person ain't even trying to walk up the stairs. I'm hearing they're scared as shit. Why? Because you embody this energy of love and passion. Oh my God. This, if this is a man, this woman is scared of this passion that you have for this particular person. It's like when you look into her eyes, her heart is going like this on fire. If this is a woman, you got this guy, don't even know how to run up these stairs. I don't know about you, but I personally would run up the motherfucking stairs and kick it. 
just because I have this heart of passion. But you guys have somebody that's coming in with a passion that's going to need to take action. And I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, Aries, women or female, women, female, maybe it's female on female, I don't know, women or men. This particular person that is coming to you in love is going to require you to take action. It says, baby steps are still steps, and they're better than standing still. So even though you are having to pursue, especially if it's my woman, even though you need to take action, you maybe you was told in the past, oh, a woman, you know, doesn't chase. Bull is what I'm hearing from somebody. Somebody's, I'm channeling somebody's, they're saying loud and clear, women, you choose the man always. It's always been that way. The way you look at them, the way you show interest. So some of you guys need to take that action. You guys been holding back. You're going to find, it's like the universe wants to send you somebody with this big ass heart that's going to be on fire. Look at this. Invitations. Cards don't lie. So in love, you need to speak up. You need to speak calm, joy, love. Look at all this beauty. For some of you guys, the affirmations, we used to start saying, I am love, I am beautiful, I am gorgeous, I am sexy. Y'all need to repeat that. I am love. I attract love. I attract gorgeous women. I attract gorgeous men, however it may resonate. But look in the mirror and call in. And some of y'all need to release the past. Some of you guys have a little bit of holding on to some narcissistic person that makes you sick to your stomach. But I'm hearing in by the end of June, before you into July, you have you're about to be fully released from this narcissistic person. If you was tied in a relationship or a marriage, I'm hearing if you was married to a narcissist and you got divorced, you ran the fuck out of there quick. Even if you had to give up many things. You trusted in God that he will provide for you. And look, they showed up for you. So some of you guys are, <laughs> you stayed obedient. When he told you to leave and take the high road, baby, you took it. Even if you had to leave everything and you are trusted in God, the universe that they will provide. And I'm hearing you're about to get double for your trouble, baby. Some of you guys tenfold. And this narcissistic person is going to be sick to their stomach. It's going to be them that's going to be laying on the floor. Look, I've shuffled right now at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. They could do all the rituals and try the black magic to try to get you back, but they're going to be sick to their stomach. Why? Because look at this affirmations that you're saying and this passion, this fire, this, I'm hearing this divinely guided relationship is sent by look two very important figures wow so let's see what's your spiritual as fuck message aries hit the like button share subscribe baby help my channel grow look at this too many messages uh-uh let's get back over here so your ancestors some of you guys need to meditate y'all need to pray y'all have a lot and we said earlier your crown chakra needs to meditate on it you have a lot of messages that are going to be coming in a lot of guidance all right what do we got we're going to pick this one and it says right here accept the good in your life and knowing you're a fucking delight that's what the card says and it says once you notice the good shit going on in your life more good shit starts happening it's like a magnet or a dung beetle Fun facts. Once a dung beetle gets a little nut or nub of poop, he runs around like it, around with it, and more poop sticks to it and grows and grows. Goodness is like that. So some of you guys need to just be in this energy of love, baby. You guys are attracting love. So that's all I got to say. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe, comment if this is your energy. Infinite Tarot 888.